could piss some vinegar to them really out there to prove something. You believe you're one of those players? Oh yeah, most definitely. I feel like this team overall, we all got a chip on our shoulders. We hungry. And you can just tell by the way we practice, everybody competing, everybody going at it. And that's just a different edge to the team. What are some of the things you really had to adjust to pretty quickly since you got there? Um, really just getting acclimated with the team. You know, I think that's the biggest thing when you first arrive to a new spot, just getting to know the guys and getting familiar with all the coaches and just making sure that you put them on. How does this playbook compare to what you had in Nebraska or even uh, back in the day at Georgia Tech? Um, I mean, when you think about it, all playbooks are kind of the same, but this one is a little different. It's more, um, it's more options. But um, this playbook is, is nice. You know, some of the some of the things that I've seen in this playbook, I've seen in the past playbook with different terms. What made ASU the place for you when you were looking for schools? Uh, you know, I, um, once I left Nebraska, I went back to GT to finish my degree. So I was in the portal waiting for a while. And um, I was just kind of sticking it out, waiting, hearing from schools. And ASU just sounded like the best opportunity. What do you think about uh Style the I feel like this is a good offense. I feel like there's um we got a lot of we got a lot of weapons. You know, there's a lot of pieces and checks and everything that can be made in this offense. And I just feel like this offense that'll set any quarterback up for success. Talking about getting the receivers, what's it been like working with like Coach Royal and trying to understand what he wants and understanding what he wants? Yeah, it's um Coach Royal, he's a good coach. You know, he um he'd be on me hard about ball placement, accuracy and just getting the timing down with the receivers. And I think that requires extra work for the receivers, even if we just spot and throw, just so they know how I throw these balls and I can see how they run these routes. And also, that's what we call a uh, quarterback, a dual threat quarterback. They take exception to that. They think they're just as good, also standing in the pocket. I mean, where do you stand? I mean, I'm just an all around TV. Whatever I need to be, whatever I need to be, I'll be. Do, do, we, do we feel more comfortable out of the pocket versus being in the pocket? I mean, if I got a clean pocket, I'm comfortable. And if I'm outside the pocket, I, mean, I can do whatever. So, I mean, it really don't matter to me. Can you walk us through that uh, the long touchdown to Jake Smith and uh, the route and the jet play? Oh, it was just a um, it was a rollout play. And we had a double post. And I seen that safety took the first post. So I set my feet and I just threw it. It was open. How long was the ball to be in there? Like, yards? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> What's been the transition like to living in Arizona? I mean, I'm from Florida, so I'm I'm used to heat. It's just a little drier. Um, the only thing I don't like about Arizona heat is like when the wind blows, it's hot. You know, <laughs> Florida, we get a little breeze, it cool you down a little bit because it's humid. But it, out here, it's just straight heat. From so, a perspective, what do you think the difference is in playing styles from the ACC to the Big Ten to the Big Twelve? I would say. I would say really the only difference is the Big Ten. I think Big Ten is more like pro style, big, big heavy set QBs that can really like just sit there, sit back there, pocket pass. I think Big Twelve and ACC you get a mixture of both. As somebody who's been here for a few months, you really have to uh, need to build a, a lot of trust and quickly the trust with the offensive line. How's that process been going for you? Just showing up, talking to the guys, getting on, uh, showing them your personality, and. Um, like before I go out on the field, I dap all of them up just to um, get them going. And get, just little things like that. Kenny? Oh, it's so fun. You know, and um, Sam and Trent, they all helped me out, uh, getting me used to everything because, you know, they was in the spring. So whenever I ask them a question, they helpful. And it's just fun, you know, it's always fun to compete. You can hold this a group of misfits to trying to prove people wrong this year, but just for you individually, what do you want to prove to people? I'm not really trying to prove anything to nobody. You know, I'm just trying to prove myself right. Was it difficult going through, you know, what people said about your in Alaska? Because social media can get crazy. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, I'm not really worried about it. Um, you know, I had, had a bad year. Sometimes that happens. I got to take it on the chin and learn from it and just try to be better. What did you learn Um, just to keep going, you know, um, never quit, never give up. Always believe in yourself, never lose confidence in yourself and just go out there and play ball. Don't you know, make it bigger than what it is. What's the guy that you have? Oh yeah, he's a, he's a good dude. You know, um, he's, he's very organized. Um, you can tell he about his business. You know, he don't, like, he get to work and he, he, he stay locked in, but he, he also a coach that'll sit there and explain to you if you need extra explanations. 
and he just really want to make sure that he's teaching his guys right. Hey, you've done this before. What are what, what the biggest challenges in adjusting to the and your scheme and personnel and everything? Really just the verbiage, like learning the terms that they say versus what you heard before. Because you always want to try to be on the same page with your coaches and everybody in the offense. So really when you get to a new school, really just learning the, the, the terminology and how they say things and how, how everything is playing.